الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم may Allah make us from the believers إيمان is the greatest gift in رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم speaking about إيمان who, who are the mu'mins what is إيمان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said إيمان is 70 plus parts the highest level of إيمان is to say لا إله إلا الله to make that statement of faith No one is worthy of worship other than Allah. To love no one more than Allah. You worship no one other than Allah. When you, when you give, you give for Allah. When you take, you take for Allah. Even when you are upset, you are upset for Allah. When you love, you love for Allah. That is la ilaha illallah. In Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa 13 years in Mecca, he used to say, say la ilaha illallah, you will succeed. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people of la ilaha illallah. The highest level of iman is la ilaha illallah. And the lowest part of iman is to remove litter from the street, anything that is harmful. Imagine subhanallah what we learn from this hadith. As a mu'min, you don't have a choice. It is a whole package. That's why Allah said in the Quran, ادخلوا في السلم كافة. Enter Islam fully. You cannot take part of Islam, say, I will do this and I will leave this. Allah said, enter Islam fully. So the highest part and the lowest part, which means to clean everything around you. Rasulullah did not say Muslim city, non-Muslim city, he said from the street. So imagine as a Muslim, my role is to spread beauty. Not to, not to allow anything that harms people in the street. In another hadith, something that harms people when you see in the street, to remove it is sadaqa. It makes you closer to Allah. So imagine if every mu'min, if every believer knows that cleaning and removing harmful from the streets is part of my iman. How will be our cities? What about our houses? What about our places of worship? How we will be as believers? And if that is what we do with objects, you know when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa missed a woman that used to clean the masjid, he didn't see her one day. One day. Rasulullah said, where are the women that used to clean the masjid? They said, Ya Rasulullah, she died. He said, when? They said, yesterday. So what did you do? They said, we buried her. He said, why didn't you tell me? They said, Ya Rasulullah, we didn't want to disturb you. So he went himself, sallallahu alayhi wa to pray on her. What did this woman do? What were the extra th ordinary things that she was doing? She was cleaning the masjid. So cleaning and purifying. If that, uh, if that is with objects, so what about with our hearts? That carry all this issue of dirt, of jealousy, envy, hatred, all these problems. And subhanallah, Rasulullah sallam said in that very authentic hadith, Allah does not look at your forms or at your, at your appearance. Allah looks at your hearts. Imagine subhanallah, the way we brush our teeth if we were to clean our hearts every time, how would be our life? In Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah loves the heart that is clean, that has got no envy or hatred for anyone. La ilaha illallah. In Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in shyness, haya is part of iman. So Rasulullah said the highest level is so three things in this hadith. First of all, iman is 70 plus parts. The highest level is la ilaha illallah. The lowest level is removing something that is harmful or dirt from the street. And then he said, in haya, to be shy is part of iman, shyness. Subhanallah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, in this era of social media, where people are talking about everything. There is no subhanallah privacy. 
there is a problem between husband and wife they wash all their dirt in the street everyone can see that problem in a community everyone knows that for Allah's sake as Muslims as believers we have to have haya there are things that you don't talk about And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was described by having the, high, the highest level of haya. Subhanallah, when he was entering Mecca sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when Allah granted him victory, people saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was looking down, shining from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that you has given give him all this blessing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the people of khair. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.